Bob. This is his favorite way to sit, you guys. Just like this. I just put my arm up like this. Can you guys see? And he will literally sit like this for hours. And I'm not kidding, hours. He likes to look in the mirror. That's what he's doing over here. My mirror's over here and he's just looking in the mirror at himself. He owns me. Mm. Hey guys, Callie Fab here. And today I wanted to do the how many years of eyeshadows do I own? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this has been a long time coming for me ever since I saw Jessica, Amanda, and Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It post this on their videos. I was like, I have to do that. But the problem was, is that it took me forever to inventory, categorize, write down all my numbers, and put them into the spreadsheet. It took forever, like literally two months, because every time I started doing it, I got super overwhelmed. Not only that, but I had like this weird obsession with making sure everything was in its own category, as in whichever eyeshadow brand it was that I was doing was all together <laughs> and from top to bottom. I don't know you guys, let me know if you're like that specific about things when you're categorizing and putting things together. Like I just can't put things together that are not in some sort of alignment. Like I couldn't just grab a palette and put it in and then grab another palette and put it in. No, I had to grab all of my Lorac palettes, all of my Tarte palettes, all of my whatever other brand palettes that I had and put them in together because I had to. Oh my goodness, it took forever. Literally, that was another reason why it took me so long to get my inventory videos up because I was doing that while I was doing my inventory and it was just incredibly overwhelming to me. So that is the plan. That's what I'm doing today, you guys. I can't believe I finally completed it. And initially I wasn't gonna put in my single shadows into this, but then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? At some point I'm going to do a pan that palette with all of my singles. Well, not all of them, but I'm going to do a pan that palette and make my own Z palette of singles that I want to pan and go from there. So I was like, I have to add these in. And not only that, but I do use singles quite often. So one thing I did not add in were my super shock shadows simply because I really don't do a one shadow look with my super shock shadows. I typically will end up kitty mantis. Sorry. I typically will end up putting a super shock shadow on top of an eyeshadow look that I already have for that day just to kind of give it extra like bling and sparkle and whatever I'm looking for. It usually gives that to me with the super shock shadows. So Kitty Cat wants to go into all of my items and bins and pee in them lately. So he has to be held or the door has to be closed. And he was pawing at the door earlier. Hence the reason he's in my arms, locked up in my love but I love him. Anyway, so that is my plan. I am going to tell you what I would have had without my single shadows, and then I'll tell you what I have with my single shadows. I will put in a clip also of all of my palettes that I have. I don't think I have a current clip of all of my singles. I do have an old clip from July of 2018, I think, of all of my singles. If you guys are curious, I can definitely do a individual video of me swatching and telling you what colors I have and, you know, which ones I like, which ones I don't like as much, so and so. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like that for like a single shadow video. It would be quite long because I have 122, but I can definitely do that. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into it. So what we had to do is put in all of the ounces, put in how many pans per palette. It was kind of hard with like the chocolate bar palette because it has those two bigger pans. So I kind of averaged out all of the pans and then put the average number so that I could get like a rounded number. And what we did is you put in how many shadows you wear each time you wear eyeshadow and then how many days per week you wear shadow. So originally I did put in three days per week, but Recently, especially because of this new year and my goals of using up items, I have been wearing them more like four and five times a week, but I figured four would be a pretty average number. So that way, if I only wore two 
you know, if I only wore eyeshadow two days one week and then five days the next, you know, it would kind of end up averaging out to about four days a week. So I don't have like specific days that I wear them on or anything like that. I just kind of wear makeup when I want to and don't wear it when I don't want to. My skin is not terribly bad that I don't need to wear makeup, but I like it. I just have fun. So anyways, on to the numbers. You guys, this is happening. So if I just counted all of my eyeshadow palettes, and that does include any duos, trios, anything like that, I don't think I have like any of those, but I included everything that was in a palette that was not by itself. Um, if I include all of those, I had 48.2 years. So that's like 48 years in like two months, three months about. That's a lot in <laughs> just my eyeshadow palettes. Um, that's crazy. That's literally saying that I would finish more than one eyeshadow palette a year because I have like 60 something eyeshadow palettes and it's saying 48 years. So that's saying that I would finish like an eyeshadow palette and a half every year, which I don't think I can actually do. I can try. I don't know. I guess we're going to see this year when I use my Lorac Mega Pro 3 because it's basically been the palette I've been using every single eye look. And even if I use something else, I'm still using that one to put some color down just so I can get usage out of it. But anyways, on to the next. <laughs> so if I, sorry, I totally still have my kitty cat on my lap right now. So if I add in, hi baby. Hi baby. Yeah. If I added in my single shadows, so I have 122, and I averaged them out at 0 0.05 ounces per pan, that was just the average that I was tending to get. I don't have many like makeup geek and stuff. I know they have 0 0.06, um, but I was pretty much getting a consistent 0 0.05. Some of them were 0 0.04, some of them were 0 0.06, so I averaged it out at 0 0.05, and... I had 122 of those, which means I had over six ounces in <laughs> in single eyeshadows, which is crazy. Anyway, so 48 years, 48.2 years with just my palettes. And when I added in my single shadows, I had 56.6 years. <laughs> Oh my god, that added in so many years just adding in those singles. And as much as I didn't want to add them in, like I said, I knew I needed to because they're part of my eyeshadow collection. I count them. I use them. I should be counting them in my eyeshadow palette collection. So anyways, I did put my number of eyeshadows that I wear on a daily average at about five. I do a setting color most of the time. Sometimes I don't, but setting color. I do a transition color, I do an outer V, I do a lid color, and I do a, a color under the eyelash line. So I typically end up using five colors. Um, sometimes they are the same color and sometimes they're not. But those are the average numbers that I end up using. I do like to switch up my looks and you know use different things pretty often which is why it's nice having a bigger palette for my pan that palette so I'm not getting bored of it. Um, but I am enjoying my shadows right now. Like I look at my shadows that I have on top of my dresser, my Alex 9 dresser. I look at my shadows that I have in my drawer and I'm excited. You know, I decluttered about eight eyeshadow palettes that I just wasn't using and that were kind of on top of my collection. And now that I did that, I look at my collection and I'm like, yes, like I feel good. Anything I grab, I could literally go in blind, close my eyes and just pick something out and I know I would be super happy and I could figure out a look with that palette. So that makes me really, really excited to use my collection. Kitty Cat is just enjoying being in my lap right now. And yeah, so I have to go and you know, live my life and enjoy my life a little bit. And I think if I use shadow more than four days a week, like if I start using it five and six and seven days a week, I could definitely get through some of these palettes and shadows and stuff like that. But right now I'm just enjoying doing makeup when I want and not doing it when I don't feel like it. So 
that is just the plan for me right now. I don't have any set plans for using anything except for my Pan That palette. And I think one year I'm going to end up doing a like Pan In Every, sh or yeah, Pan In Every palette, like collab challenge thing. I don't know, trying to get some more pans showing to get my collection looking like it's more used because I have used my collection, but I like to clean it up and I like to make it look nice, like brand new. And I know some people like that, but other people are like, oh, you haven't even used your shadows, but it's like, yeah, I have, I promise. <laughs> so I think that's gonna be the plan for me for this coming, maybe in 2020, I'm not sure. It depends on how well I do with this pan that palette this year. But anyways, I have a lot of years of eyeshadow. And I know that's not gonna stop because BoxyCharm keeps sending eyeshadow palettes. And as much as I love it, and I do, hey baby. As much as I love getting palettes from BoxyCharm, you guys saw my declutter video. I decluttered like seven, no, not seven, that's way too many. I decluttered like four palettes from BoxyCharm, just this last declutter. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like I get a lot of similar palettes. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of things from BoxyCharm and stuff and if I should still be subscribed to them, stuff like that. But I do love the skincare and the other makeup products that they end up giving me. I love putting his paw on my face. <laughs> okay, I'm just having fun with this video now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed seeing my how many years do I own of my eyeshadows and... <laughs> He's doing this on his own now. Um, I will be doing this for highlighter, blush, and bronzer coming up soon. And I don't know what other categories. I think they did lipstick too. Lipstick is way too overwhelming for me to do. And I won't be doing lipstick. So I will be... Hi, baby. I will be doing my blush, bronzer, and highlighter just so I can, you know, see, and not only that, but so I can get a solid inventory on those as well and see how much I actually have because I know I have a lot. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Kitty, kitty wave. Bye. <sighs> just kidding. Bye. Kitty. He's a good boy. He's my boy. He's my boy. He's my boy. Yes, you are. You're my boy. <laughs> Love you.